<laughs> what was your first time using Postman? Oh my God, what year was it? <laughs> it's been like really been a long time. Was it 2014 or 15? I have no recollection of what it was that I was doing, but I know that one day in that year, I didn't know about Postman. And the next day I did, I couldn't live without it. And that's pretty much been the story. Since then. Likewise, so I was at a, like in my previous company before my current role, I was testing out some APIs and, you know, at that time you had to write either a curl script mm -hmm. in your terminal or you actually had to write some sort of code. And a lot of that was like very tedious, especially if you had to test a new API. So a colleague of mine ended up telling me about this um, Chrome browser extension called mm -hmm. Postman. Mm -hmm. And the story has been the same. Like, I don't think I have ever lived without Postman mm -hmm. since I have explored that. The Postman client, of course, is a great way to explore and test our APIs. In fact, I have been able to help some of our non-technical teams get familiarized yeah. with uh, APIs, not only APIs, even as I said, like web sockets, like whenever non-technical teams would hear the term APIs um, yeah. or making requests, you know, they, they, they would be scared. Uh, but using Postman, we were able to show like yeah, how easy that... it was to just like make a request that is get the such data an excellent point that is i i i am glad that you brought that up because it makes apis so much more accessible to people who don't write code and i actually haven't written code line by line in a really long time because most of my interaction with AP, like postman does it for me i'm a product manager now so that's not my job um but it is pretty straightforward even for a semi-technical person it's kind of just data entry they just need to know what yeah. fields to put in and, and it's that is not spoken enough how big of a deal postman is exactly. for non-technical people uh